everybody, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I have a fun video to share with you along with the other members of Tracy Reed's creative team. This is going to be the YouTube blog hop for Tracy's latest collection, Goldenrod. I have all the die cut stickers cut out and ready to use. And I have a bunch of projects here and I'm excited to show you how I'm gonna use this kit because I've come up with a variety of ways to use this kit already. I just can't say it enough how much I love Tracy's kits and the versatility in them. Okay, so my first project that I'm gonna do in this video is of my kids last fall jumping on the trampoline. So I'm gonna do a two page spread in this video for that. And I'm just gonna, do a little documenting of how sweet it is that they, you know, love each other for a few moments. It doesn't look necessarily like the most pleasant, but they love each other and I just had to, to capture that sweet moment between them. I'm going to document that for the family album. I have another pocket page that I'll share later at some other point, but this one is for my me album and I'm going to document my fun at the pumpkin patch. And then I have two October daily type of ideas to share with you, including this little pumpkin. So let me start with the pumpkin. So this pumpkin here is actually a wood veneer from the kit and I blew it up to the size that I wanted because um, the distortion didn't matter, the size didn't matter. I just needed the wood veneer to be kind of my clipping mask. And then I clipped in this TN signature. I clipped it in right here and then I had to do a little on the edges and I also clipped in a stem right there. So now I can just punch this. And then I can pop dot this and insert it into my October daily. So that's just a simple little prep page. And I think on the back, I might put a reason why or a bucket list for our season. All right, I'm gonna move some of this stuff off and then I can tell you the second idea. Okay, so the other October daily page that I wanted to share with you is this one. And it's going to happen on the 10th of October. I think I did something similar last year in my October daily. And uh, I'm gonna do it again this year. So I will put down a one and then a two and I will have three by two photos and then I can talk about what went on on the 10th. And I can just do it for both pages all the way to 10. I'm gonna have enough room to do a little cluster here and a little cluster over here because it's gonna be two, three, three, and two. So it's gonna be really fun and interactive and a great way to document um, the 10th of October. Or if I decide that I wanna do uh, 10 things that I love about October, I can go ahead and do that. So that is one idea and you'll probably see me put that together later in uh, the month. All right, I'm gonna get started and switch over to voiceover so I can start on this fun project of my kids. Okay, so to tie both of these pages together, I have a yellow paper down at the bottom and then I took the photos and put them at 2.5 by 3.5 inches. Did the same thing with my journaling cards, that way they all matched. And I will just stack them all on the left side and the right side, but the right side is gonna have one spot to put in the title, which is love. Cause I took the alphabet, um, there's a ton of different options for alphabet in the Tracy Reed kit. So I took that, die cut it three times. One of my photos didn't have a mat. I think I messed up when I was trimming it. So I have to put it on some cardstock to get like that faux pretend uh, white mat. And then I have to trim it to make sure it matches the other photos. So that was kind of a bit of a boo-boo, but I was able to fix it with the cardstock. So I have one photo of my kids and then I'll have uh, two more of them in kind of the same pose and then one jumping. So the trampoline continues to be the best thing to bring them together and to get them to play with each other for a couple minutes. So I'm so glad we bought that and we, it might be time for a new trampoline, but I just love getting all these photos of them on the trampoline and I always forget to document them. And so when I was looking through photos, thinking about what I could document from our fall season last year, when I saw these photos, 
I just was like, I, you know what? I want to document this because I always forget to document trampoline photos and just how much I love and enjoy how we get to go out in the afternoon on a beautiful fall afternoon. So that's why I chose these photos to scrapbook. And like I mentioned earlier, I took this alpha and I cut it out three times. That's one of my go-to tricks when I'm doing hybrid scrapbooking, taking digital elements and bringing them to life using the printer. I cut it three times so it's a lot more dimensional because trying to put like foam adhesive on the back of one of these would be way too challenging. So just die cutting it three times and then stacking them and gluing them makes it so it's almost like a real alphabet. And I don't know about you, but I do not like real alphabet stickers because I'm always running out of the letter that I need. Always, always. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are on alpha stickers. I just, I have strong opinions on this. Alphabet stickers just bug me for the most part. And that's why I will always usually stick with digital alphabets or stamping. I don't like running out of letters. I just really don't. Bugs me. Okay, so for my leaves and my pumpkins, I used kind of the chipboard in the digital kit, but since I just die cut them, they're now, I guess, what you would call die cuts, and they work perfect. I also like to take my leaves and bend up the front piece of it, so that way it looks a little more dimensional. And I'm going to put a cluster over by this black journaling card that says Season of Memories. Another one up by that label that I'm using as a journaling spot. And then another one, another cluster by the love kind of title section. I just love those leaves. I love all the die cuts that Tracy puts in her kits. There's such a variety. There's numbers and frames and labels and flowers and word stickers. I mean just a big variety of stickers. I am continuing to adhere everything down and folding up the edges of the leaves. I also added a few up at the top where the L is. I also took these chipboard leaves and shrunk them down so that there would be a variety of sizes. My last little step is not only going to be the journaling but adding in a few enamel dots. I didn't have all the colors of enamel dots I wanted so I'll just use Nuvo Drops those are kind of the faux pretend enamel, drop, enamel dots, and those are just like alphabet stickers too. I don't like running out of enamel dots, so Nuvo drops are usually my go-to. Much prefer those. Added in a few orange and black ones, and now I'm just journaling about our love of fall afternoons, being outside together, and how the kids continue to love being on the trampoline for the most part, together, for the most part, and I just... I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the album, show you how it looks in the album real quick, and then I'll move on to showing you the little insert. Love that fun little fall page. It was so quick to put together, but definitely some special moments I wanted to scrapbook. Okay, so this little insert, I decided to pop dot the pumpkin, the most magical time of the year. And since I have some leftover leaves, I'm going to go ahead and cluster them two and two up towards the top and then just kind of tilt it down. And I think that's it for now for this little insert and I'll be done with some projects. And I hope you have enjoyed seeing my introduction and these two projects. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're new to my channel and check out everyone else's projects. Have a great day. Bye.